allowed to go down and this is my first video recorded with voice and, and today well I'm going to give you some tips and possible ways to play or as a cleric on never win So, first of all, I have seen many players just running around with a cleric class, but never, I have never seen one of them use a single healing skill. They often go for full damage, and that's pretty much it. Especially in PvP, and in PvP, healing is crucial. If it is not crucial, but it will help your team a winning game so yes hopefully what I'm going to say about the cleric and how to use some skills help you be able to play better or at least be able to consider your options okay first of all if you're the cleric well, your role is to heal that is, that is the main role in Barry and PvP. Now here there's no single PvP in, in Neverwinter. So all, you, all the PvP is in groups of five. Yes, unfortunately there are PvP guilds that focus on PvP and some players are pretty much over overpowered at least for the level they're supposed to be due to the gear and enchantments which so you can put the gear to get the extra stat now again because you are the cleric in pvp and even in dungeons you're going to be the first one the the players are going to take down in the one that is going to get most attacked by monsters it doesn't matter if you first attack or if you last you attack last if your heals are pretty strong um, you're, it is a really high chance that you're going to be attacked by pretty much all the monsters around there okay. and that being said you need to be aware of your surroundings be the lookout, be often moving, moving. It doesn't matter if you are doing nothing, you're just standing there. But in PvP especially, it is crucial to you move. If you stand st still, it is a higher, you have a higher chance of getting attacked by a trickster rock, which is the critical hitter. Again, critical hitters can sometimes if they're overpowered can just do one hit kill. Then again, if you're an okay player, you probably won't be, be bothered by that since they won't be able to take you down fast. But yes, you need to keep moving and be aware of a few things that your class can actually do. Like for example, you see the bar here, this bar is actually your divine power or now it is called divinity or divinity. What does the skill do is give you an extra buff to your normal skill and it will allow you to use your normal skill three more times. Of course, it's, uh, is going to have a little bit different effect it won't have the same for example some some boss using normally like this yes, yes. invoke a, a blast of radiant light that burns falls around you knocks enemies away and heals yourself and allies if you if you 
affects enemies and other allies at the same time you gain 25% more action points that's the normal use the one that I use just now now this is divinity Apply a stack damage over time, stacking over damage over time effect to any nearby foes and heal over time to nearby allies. This effect can stack three times. So, what it's going to do is going to heal over time. Now, that, that actually, I don't like it. I don't like the heal over time because. Uh, that only applies to you, basically, since you are the one being away, trying to stay away from close combat, then that's going to be useful, because as you dodge or move away from an attack, you're going to get healed. Now it is not good for your allies, because they're pretty much the ones that are going to be doing the close range. And Close range and heal over time. Well, no, just not for her. However, it is good to, to get the strap. It is good in, in a way. It is good. Now, empower it. This is here. Some boss consumes all stacks of empower it to increase the knock and heal by. 50% for stack so what is empowerment basically if an, uh, a way to make your skill extra strong so how to get it well basically the thing you need to do is to the first to the of divine power once you get the first the, the all the stars the orbs or spirits or opponent, they now use the skill again. And that's pretty much it. That's how you get it, that's how you use it. And uh, like you probably saw, enough my enemies really far away and do need extra damage. Again, if you need healing, you just found that, then you're going to get a good heal. Same with all most skills or all skills will have the empowerment and the vanity or divinity, the divinity, yeah, whatever. So that's basically it. You need to be moving, be aware, try to get your divine power faster, as fast as you can. And one more thing, this skill, Astra Seal, is the most have uh, all time, anywhere, everywhere. Uh, and that's you want to Now, uh, two powers are uh, ready to get crazy attack that you can do. Now, why is that crucial? Why this skill is a must have? Because forget it does an okay damage and it says here. Engage your enemy in an astral seal. You or any ally striking the target will, will regain HP hit points. Players may only trigger this heal once every 4 seconds. So basically, just yes, lose it and you hit the target. You're going to hit it. Whoever, whoever attacks the target is going to get killed. And I just use it once to get 
there's some divine power you probably notice if you haven't noticed i'll show you you can regain fast divine power by using this PvP may not be that much, but it's going to help your team a lot. Now, the divine power skill or extra power or special power, whatever it's called, uh, is going to be a little bit tricky to use because you need to press the tab key. Now, there are ways to get around that. The easiest way, the easy way to change that is by pressing escape, going to options, and then gameplay, and keybind. Now in keybind, keybind, you're going to search for the special power. Now I have M3 because I have an MMO mouse, which is uh, the mouse that has the keyboard on the side but if you don't have a MMO mouse or gaming mouse which is just a basic mouse with extra buttons then you're going to go you can use just your normal mouse you press that you go here and then go here middle press you use that and then by pressing the mouse mouse wheel you're going to be able to use your divine power and it's going to be more easier faster to use and you're probably going to be able to use it or learn to use it faster than just pressing the tab key now i had a really difficult time learning how to use that key the tab key actually I never learned how to use it properly <laughs> <coughs> but yes that's the way that's one way to get around it again you need to be moving be moving be aware of what you're doing be aware who needs help who needs healing who who needs an extra hand healing enemies now another thing that you need to have is blue gear now blue gear the gears there are mm, four types four, four types of gear so far it is the simple gear which is going to be in white there's going to be the okay gear which is going to be in green and there's going to be the blue gear now now the blue gear is the is an okay gear it's not the best the best is purple however in low levels you won't be able to find purple purple gear until level max level now these are weapons and this gear is actually a non level fire gear that means you can get it from uh, lower levels and use it at lower levels this gear will level up with you so you don't have to change it however it is hard to get <laughs> this is the hardest gear to get at lowest level probably you won't even be able to get it at lower level because it is expensive and the only way to get it at lower levels is by going to the action house here in the action house you press here in equipment you press the quality epic and press usable by me then keep search now this this gear this is not a gear this is just a cosmetic but it's just a cosmetic and it's already cost 900 
119 Astro Diamonds. Now, Astro Diamonds is the hardest currency you can get, really difficult to get. See, this one is like I say, it's not even a, a gear, it's just a cosmetic, it's, and it is already one, one key, one case. Yeah. Now, you probably won't be able to find here this one, but you can go to this part. Go to next, let's search again. If you can get it here, see, I have this one and this one. This, <coughs> but you can see, we discovered almost 100 uh, K diamonds, astral diamonds. That's a bit hard to get at uh, lower levels. <laughs> see, 80. Now the reason why I have 400 is because I have some extra sand lying around from from years ago. Yes, I use real money. Now sand is the currency you can actually get by using real money. If you have money to spend, then to yes, this is uh this gear is going to be the play uh, pay to win gear. And well, if you're a solo player, then doesn't matter because when you're party, you probably are going to get a party with really crappy gear. They won't even care about getting blue gear, just jump with whatever they have. But yes, many won't have if you don't have the money, then I recommend to sp the money to spend. I recommend going for blue gear. Yes, you can get blue items here instead of the purple one that I have. And here for weapons, there's another one that is blue and is almost as powerful as the purple one. It is called Dragonborn. Now, Dragonborn, of course, you can buy it here. The Dragonborn. the icon this is not that expensive probably a few skirmishes then you will be able to have at least one one thousand astro diamonds you can actually get it and it is not bad actually it's not bad at all it's really good the one that is going to be a little bit expensive is probably the actual weapon this is a icon now go to equipment and main hand you click search you see there's no there's no any any main hand which is the weapon so that one is going to be a, a bit It is going to be difficult, but it's not going to be impossible. What do I mean by that? To get it, you actually just need to kill this dragon. However, there's only a small percent to get it. A really, really small percent to get it. A down point something percent. So basically, you keep kill the dragon and then you have to and then you claim it now sometimes you will get it sometimes you will not you need to keep killing this thing again and again until you get it but yes if you're going to pvp then it is going to be worth it to get a gear Or you can just look for any any blue weapon. It's going to be fine. But yes, that's basically move around, look for 
gear keep uh, upgrading your gear here this is not bad but i need to do an upgrade since i'm level 30 30 level 30 so yes i need to change the gear now i don't recommend to change it like every five levels you probably you are best to change it every 10 levels then again the blue gear you can get it by doing uh dungeons and skirmishes and sometimes you will be uh, getting it by drops during normal quest same with blue weapon you sometimes will get it during normal quest or by doing dungeons that's one thing you're going to probably look for it since in pvp many are going to be really geared to the teeth no. I find your leadership adequate. So that's basically it here on the first. Now, I recommend you go for faithful, faithful all the way to read the the feast, feast, feast. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you read it and you get whatever you like here I won't tell you what to get because basically each player has different skills just has different ways to play and all that but yes I recommend you go full here now this skill is optional because this this skill this fit or fit fit no fit mm, whatever it's optional it says um, you no longer do like uh, Esther heals or, or sorry it says that you can no longer do uh, you do less heals less heals but there's one thing it says here let me read it you heal spells on allies now heal for 25 percent less to store the difference on the target as a gift of fate while an ally has gift of fate on them when they drop below 45 percent sp gift of fate is extended to immediately heal them for the full amount of the gift additional heal Additionally, healing ward, basin of health, and divine glow no longer apply a, a regeneration effect, but instead grant the amount they will have healed directly to give a faith. So basically, you're going to heal 25% less. For me, I didn't like it because of it. I mean, why sacrifice 25% when you can do stronger heals and it is not hard to heal but yeah now again you can go mid faithful half faithful and half precious the, or half faithful and half virtuous or be the 100% healer as I call it go full here get this get up to here and then the, the extra points then you put it here in this skill now I don't recommend you going to this for this path path because at lower levels you're going to do a really crappy damage and this one sacrifices your heals for uh, damage again this is your damage path like I mentioned you won't be able to do good heals and <coughs> let me go I will if you want to you can do like I mentioned before half and half 
I'll go full stay cool here and then get some from here or again go full virtues or virtues and get a few from here leave none alive what is that well that's basically it. move around change gear try to use your divine power faster more often if you can that's pretty much it like like i said with trick the rocks you're going to have a really difficult time because they can become invisible invisible yes you won't be able to see them or probably you will be able to see them but it's going to be hard to get them now from you <coughs> that's why you need to keep moving keep dodging if you can and try to support your team don't be don't waste it i mean if you want to be a full damage dealer then it is best to get uh, different classes no, not a cleric because a cleric even with the brushes pad is going to be weak compared to the other classes that focus on pure damage so yeah but that is it hope you I hope this helped you a little bit or help you get started and if you think it is useful then if you want you can share it don't really mind again don't really mind the likes if you like it then press like if you know then press the other thing thank you for your time and see you probably in the next video if there is a next video.